Hey guys, it's Hugh here. Thanks for taking the time out to watch this video. I have a really cool, valuable tip for you that I want to share with you right here. It has to do with when you're putting movies onto your website. We'll probably build this into the software, but we, we haven't built it into the software yet. So I wanted to share this tip with you just for some extra, like something cool, because this really is cool. Now, I don't know what kind of theme you use, but I've been playing around with these responsive themes because I want to have people on mobile, you know, use my websites and stuff. So I've been building this website about um, the Hunger Games here, and um, so I wanted to put a lot of videos on it. And you'll notice here that when I open the the window, the video expands with the window, and if I shrink the window. The video actually shrinks with the window, so it looks good on a mobile phone, right? So I really like that. I think that's cool because if you don't have that, let me show you what it looks like when you when it doesn't have that responsive adjustment. So I'm going to do so. I'm going to actually just create a little post here, and I need to do something for uh, Jennifer Lawrence here, who's one of the stars of the movie. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that and get a YouTube embed so I can show you how this works out. So I found a really good interview with Jennifer Lawrence about exactly about the Catching Fire movie. So I'm going to go ahead and share this. I'm going to embed it. I'm just going to get the normal embed code. I will add a little change to that. But I'm going to go back to my um, my blog and I'm just going to put that in there. Okay, so I've just posted that in there as is with a little bit of extra text. And I'll just go ahead and update that, and then we'll see how it looks. Okay, and then we'll view the page. And so there's the video in the more or less a natural size that YouTube has given us. So if we stretch out the screen like this, or if we make it smaller, depending on your theme, some themes already have this implemented, but if your theme doesn't, this is what happens. No matter how big you make the window or how small you make the window, the video stays the same. So if you're on a mobile phone, it's going to get cut off unless you scroll out here and then shrink the whole screen down. Right, so I'm going to show you how to get around that and make your video fully responsive and it's really quite easy. Go back to edit. All we need is just a little bit of CSS code and hopefully your theme will have the ability to put extra CSS code in like this one. This is Swift theme. I kind of like this one and you can put in extra CSS code. So I'm going to do that. And I have this special CSS code that I've discovered and I will, I'm happy to share it with you. And you just paste this in there. Once you do that, then there's only one step to making your video fully responsive. And what it is is that you create a div around the iframe and you just make it class equals video hyphen container. And then you close that div on the other side of the iframe. And that's all you have to do if you have this CSS code. Or you could even put this in your main style sheet, which I'll probably do and edit my style sheet. I'm just going to up that, update that now. And you're going to see the difference because I showed you how it behaves when you don't have this. And now we'll see how it behaves when you do have this. The amazing power of the responsive video container. And there we go. There you have it. It responds exactly to the size of the container. So we have a very nice now mobile ready video site. Okay, so that's my video to, for today. I hope that helps. I thought I was so excited about it. I just wanted to share it with you. Okay, so have a great day. Talk to you soon. Hugh out.